Hi everybody, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to take a guided surgery plan uh, from Exaplan and take that straight into Exacad and print a crown that we're gonna to design to fit onto a tie base and have that ready to go at surgery before we even touch the patient. Uh, I've used pretty much every guided surgery software under the sun over the past 10 years and Exaplan is really the epitome of everything that I wanted simply because I have full control with everything that I do. Uh, so let's show you. So we've set this up. We're planning the low right six. We plan the adjacent teeth. I've planned the um, opposing tooth. So I'm going to bring in the opposing uh, dentition as well. We've clicked implant planning and it's loading up Exaplan. Let's rock. So here we go. First thing it's going to do, it's asking me to load the meshes. So I'm going to go to where I've stored those on the desktop and I want to bring in the upper arch. There we go. So the opposing dentition uh, and scan comes in first. And we'll use that later on, obviously for just the simple kind of planning that we're going to be doing for this tooth. Um, it, the occlusion doesn't have to be perfect, but we will get that better when we take it into Exacad. So the next step, once we brought in the uh, DICOM data, I'm then going into uh, the... Um, the next stage of Exaplan where I am planning the arch. I'm tracing the arch here. And that's really so that as I go through the data to track the nerve, I can go through my slices properly. And here in this stage, we just click CT to mesh alignment. We're going to be using a scan. We're not going to be doing anything fancy like all on four on aligning uh, two DICOMs. Just going to go simple, conventional, and you're going to see how beautifully it aligns this data. So same as always, we're going to click three points and we're going to triangulate the position. So let's move this around, click, click three common points. Something I always say when we're teaching this uh, is that really you want to pick three points that are as far apart as you can see that are reliably traceable in both the scan and also in the DICOM data. So if you can't see something very easily, then don't pick it. But if you can, if it's a good angle, an edge of a tooth, something like that, then great. Now you can see that that's not quite perfect, but that's okay. Because what I'll do now, it's going to convert the DICOM into an STL, merge the data and align those. And we can then filter through and make sure that that is perfectly aligned. Obviously, in this case, we're just flying through this to show you this process of taking this through into XCAD. And then the next stage, we're going to trace this nerve. I'm going to filter through my slices to get to the uh, mental framing on the right side. So let's take that through. Hold my right click down, slide across. 